Okay, in this problem we're going to look at finding some linear functions. So the Robinsons are planting, planting a tree in their front yard. The salesperson has got cut off a little bit at the nursery, tells them the tree is purchasing will grow approximately a half a foot every three years. Now that's important. Every three years it's going to grow a half a foot. The tree is four and one half feet tall right now. Write an equation to model the height of this tree after, as a function of the number of years after it's planted. So right off the bat, we know it has to have an initial value of four and a half. So D is already excluded. So we need to figure out its growth. Well, if you look at B and C, those are the exact same. One's written as a decimal, one's written as a fraction. Now you might say, oh, well, aren't they both right because it's growing a half foot? But here's the key, every three years. So if we think about calculating our slope, it's our change in output, so it grows one half foot every three years. All right, so our slope is actually one half times the reciprocal, one third, or one sixth. So it's growing one sixth every year, which is about 0.167, and that's where we're getting A for this problem. So you got to be careful, it's every three years. You always want your slope to be per year, per unit change in input. Alright, the function below is linear. Find a formula for the function. We have the price and the number of shirts sold. So first thing we want to do is we want to find the average rate of change. We can choose any two points, so maybe I choose these two. So 1000 minus 750. Doesn't matter what order you do you're changing output over changing input, just got to be consistent. So if I do 1,000 first, it's got to be over 15, and 750 has to be over 20. So I get 250 over a negative 5, or negative 50. So that's my slope. So it's going down by 50 shirts every time we raise the dip price by $1. So we can already eliminate all the ones with a positive 50. Now the other thing we have to do is get the initial value. <clears throat> the initial value is not a thousand. You know, it's the first one that comes up in the table, but this is the y-intercept is the output associated with an input of zero. All right. So a couple different ways we can get this. One is because our slope is negative 50, we could add 50 for every dollar until we get back to zero. So we have to add 15 50s. Or a more general way that um, we can always use we have the function q equals negative 50 p plus our b and we're going to put in any one of these points so we know that the sales have to be a thousand when the price is so we know the sales have to be one thousand when the price is fifteen Okay, so this, what we get from this equation, I'm going to come up here and write it, is 1,000 equals negative 750 plus B. Add 750 to both sides, we get B equals 1750. So, we have E for this problem.